Welcome to the morning news. Hi, I'm Jada. I'm Trista, and these are your morning announcements. Please, Please stand, stand for, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a lot of news today, so let's get started. First off, welcome to our first morning show of the year. We are working on making this show the best we can for you. But once we create more content, things will get much more exciting. We plan on having interview segments like Top 5 Songs of the Week, Joke of the Day, Cooking Segments, Anime Talk, School Life Hacks, and much more. We want to create a show that you want to watch. So stay tuned because we want to hear your ideas for fun content. So now, Let's get down to business. Say cheese! Student ID distribution is in the auditorium during your social studies classes, so make sure you're looking good for your snapshot. Colts United Day is every Wednesday and Friday. Show your Colt pride by wearing your blue Colt shirt or anything blue or green. We'll be looking for you in the halls. Come out and join Future Educators of America. There's more to FEA than you think. We will have activities geared towards college and career prep service activities, field trips, fundraising, and social activities. Come to Ms. Gonzalez's room, 210, for our first meeting on September 8th at 2.50 p.m. All students are welcome. The speech and debate team is having a new recruit meeting tomorrow in room 707 from 3 to 4.30 p.m. It is not a tryout, as everyone is welcome to join the team. They'll be going over preliminary information regarding how the competition side of things works. Hope you can make it out. Hi, I'm Miranda Anstead, President of the Speech and Debate Team. And I'm Logan Vieira, Debate Captain. I encourage you to join our up-and-coming squad this Tuesday, August 31st in Room 707. We will be meeting with all of our new recruits after school to explain what it is we do and why you should join. We want you to get in on the ground floor of this rapidly expanding national powerhouse team. We get to travel around the country to the best colleges for competitions, earning thousands in scholarship dollars, advocating our passions intensely, and making lifelong friends along the way. And we want you to join in on the fun. Can't wait to see you there. Good morning, Colt Country. My name is Mrs. Davis, and I'm a math teacher here at Coral Springs High School and the sponsor of Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society this year. You are welcome to attend our first meeting on Tuesday, August 31st at 2.50 p.m. in room 518. I hope to see you there. Hi, my name is Alex. Hello, my name is Mike. I want to play video games at school with your friends? Did you know we have a video game club right here at Coral Springs High School? Join the gaming club right after school in room 209 where we talk about video games, play video games, because we are gamers for gamers like you. Except they're higher rank. Pretty much. We also are forming our own esports team where we can compete in other tournaments against other teams and win prizes. So come out to room 209 today and we'll see you there. Hi everybody, I'm Miss Krantz, your theater teacher here at Coral Springs High School. I'm also the drama club and thespian club sponsor. I wanted to personally invite you to come out to our drama club meeting, which is on Friday, September 3rd, right after school in room 423, which is downstairs in the main building close to the gym. We hope to see you there, and remember, everyone is welcome in the theater. Attention students, do you want to be a part of the history of the school? Are you interested in creating something that will be remembered forever? Now's your chance. Yearbook will be holding an interest meeting on Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Come by room 721 on Wednesday at 3 o'clock to learn more about Yearbook. We will be hosting our first Key Club meeting after school in the Media Center on September 2nd. Please join us and learn about the club. See you there! Applications for both Crime Watch and MTL can be picked up in room 711. A 2.5 minimum GPA is required. Spaces are limited, so please get your applications in as soon as possible. And now for some sports. We have some exciting games coming up and I can't wait to see you all out there. On Thursday, September 9th, our football team has a home game versus Coconut Creek. Come on out and support your team. On Monday, August 30th, volleyball will be spiking balls at Hollywood Hills High School. Go get them, Colts! And on Wednesday, September 1st, we'll be at Cooper City High School swimming against multiple schools. Any student interested in becoming a member of the Colts cross country team for the fall 2021 season needs to see Coach Barr in room 527 right away as the season is underway. 
Attention all boys interested in playing soccer for Coral Springs High School. There will be a meeting this Friday, September 3rd at 2.50. The meeting will take place in two separate rooms. 9th and 10th grade will meet in room 607, while 11th and 12th grade will meet in room 603. Please wear a mask and be ready to take notes. Hey Colts, thanks for making it all the way to the end. Students and teachers, check out our school's YouTube channel using the QR code on the screen or click the red subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notifications every time we upload a new video. Not only do we upload the morning announcements, we also have all of our TV students' projects and live streams. See you there! Wait, one more thing. We have a special video from the CDC on how to wash your hands. Please watch it, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, everyone. What you need to know about hand washing. Why should I use soap and water to wash my hands? Germs can get on your hands and items you touch throughout the day. When your hands might be dirty, it's best to wash with soap and water to remove whatever germs and chemicals are on them. Warm or cold water. Either is fine, as long as it's clean. Bar soap or liquid. Either is fine. Does the soap have to be antibacterial to work? No. Plain soap and water work just as well. What if I don't have soap, but I have access to water. Using soap to wash hands is more effective than using water alone. But if water is all you have, rub your hands together under it and wipe off with a clean towel or air dry. When hands aren't visibly dirty, you can use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. How long do I need to scrub when washing my hands? Scrubbing your hands for at least 20 seconds is most effective. Do I have to clean under my fingernails? Yes. Germs like to hide under fingernails. Make sure to clean there, too. Towel or air dry. Either is fine, but if you're using a towel, make sure it's clean. Should I use a paper towel to turn off the faucet or open the door of a public bathroom? There isn't much scientific evidence about this. If you're concerned about getting germs on your hands after you wash them, you can use a paper towel to turn off the faucet or open door handles. What if I don't have soap or water to wash my hands? If soap and water aren't available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers can quickly kill most types of germs on the hands, but may not kill certain bacteria and viruses that cause diarrhea. You should wash your hands before eating or after using the restroom. Protect yourself and others by washing your hands with soap and water. Learn more about the magic of handwashing. Visit cdc.gov slash handwashing.